I'm giving you my take on Mexican wedding rice. We're pumping up the flavor because that tomato sauce that the rice is going to cook in, we're going to power it up by charring or roasting the ingredients. So I have a pound of ripe Roma tomatoes. And then I have two garlic cloves. And then I'm just cutting a quarter of an onion. And I'm going to put them under the broiler for about seven to eight minutes. I love making these Mexican wedding rice in a wok style pan. First off, I have a half a cup of raisins and we're gonna soak them in a half a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice. So as these soak, this needs like five to 10 minutes. I'm going to start my other ingredients. You can go directly from roasting in the pan to the blender with most ingredients. So I'm adding the tomatoes in here with the skin, the core, the seeds, everything. We want the flavor of everything in here. Just make sure I have all of the sauce here ready to go. Once you get your pan going, you're gonna start throwing things in there so you have to have all your things ready. And I have these set over medium to medium high heat. So first of all, I'm gonna cut the bacon into just bite-sized pieces. I have about six ounces. And as the bacon cooks, I'm going to cut my chorizo. To eat the Mexican style chorizo, typically you remove the casing. Mexican chorizo is raw. You have to cook it. And I'm gonna scrape the round bits of bacon into this bowl. Use a slotted spoon so you can leave the fat out. And now we're gonna cook the chorizo in that bacon fat. We're gonna help it break apart and flake and crisp and crumble. And now I'm using the slotted spoon. Take the chorizo and see, leave the fat right here. I'm gonna reduce the heat to medium. And now I'm gonna do two cups of long grain rice. We want the rice to toast and start to transform in the fat, so we want every grain of rice in here to be coated in that fat. This is a Mexican technique where we do this to the rice so that when you add the cooking broth, the rice grains separate beautifully and become kind of independent, but within the community of rice. And then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cumin seeds straight from Nuevo Leon. You don't like to bite into the big cumin seeds, but I don't want it ground. And now I'm gonna add my roasted tomato, onion, and garlic puree. It's gonna be super fast because now what's happening is the grains of rice are independently soaking up all that tomato puree. Then I have two and a half cups of chicken broth, and I also have the half a cup of the orange juice, so all in all I have over four cups liquid. So adding the chicken broth. I'm going to add my raisins that soaked in the orange juice plus the orange juice. I have a cup of diced carrots. So I'm adding a cup of fresh peas, but you can use thought from frozen. So now I'm adding a cup of fresh corn kernels, but again, you can use thought from frozen. I'm also adding peeled slivered almonds. You can buy them like these at the store. I'm adding a teaspoon of salt. And I'm adding about a half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. And I'm gonna reduce the heat to the lowest possible heat. You know that the rice is ready when the liquid has been completely completely absorbed. So now I'm going to add my chorizo and bacon. And I was gonna garnish it with a little bit of chives, but honestly, I just wanna eat it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Everything's crunching. It's really a feast.